हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक फेलो डेवलपर्स वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर सीरीज ऑन मटेरियल डिजाइन थ्री कंपोनेंट्स विद जेटपैक कंपोज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन अ सिंपल बट एसेंशियल यूआई एलिमेंट द चेक बॉक्स चेक बॉक्सेस आर यूज्ड व्हेन एवर वी वांट द यूजर टू सेलेक्ट मल्टीपल ऑप्शंस फ्रॉम अ सेट यू हैव प्रोबेबली सीन देम इन सेटिंग्स फॉर्म्स सर्वेस एंड मोर Let's jump into Android Studio and see how we can create a checkbox. So here let's create a new file. Now here let's first create a list of items. now how we will show these list of items using checkbox first we will take a column layout so in this column layout we will take these items list and we will use this for each so for each item we will take a row layout so in this row layout let's take a checkbox which comes with material 3 so let's put these items on a separate line and let's take a text also so here in this check box we have these two compulsory parameters first one is this checked so it will keep the state whether this check box is checked or unchecked this on check change this will give us a value whether the check box is checked or not for this checked here let's create a straight using remember so here how i have created this straight i have used this remember and in this remember block i have used this mutable straight map of because for this check box i will use a map where i will use this string as a key and this boolean as a value so for each of these items i have to keep a boolean value whether that item is checked or not and here i have used this with default because i need to specify here that by default what it has to be taken so by default it needs to keep the false value so here in this checked i will use this check box straights and let's use the get value function and here let's pass the item as a key with this key we will get the value and on this check chain i will update the value here so here this is how we will update our map and also let's use some parameters on this column layout first one is this fill max size so this column will take the maximum size so let's use this checkbox composable function in our main activity here so now let's run our app and see how it is looking so here is our check box group so let's try to check these items we can see this is working fine but this is not ideal because now if i try to check the item by clicking on the text so this will not work why because i have only provided that check functionality on this check box but what we need to do we need to keep this whole row toggleable so here on this row let's use some parameters
first i have used this fill max width modifier because this whole item should take the maximum width of phone's screen and this height modifier because this row needs to be this much height this whole row should be toggleable so here we need to provide the value let's use this value let's copy it and paste it here and and there is one more parameter on value change so again we will use this on value change and paste it here and since we are getting the value of this on value change from here so we can provide the null value here and after this i have provided this padding horizontally 16 dp and this vertical alignment center vertically because right now we can see this item and this checkbox is not properly placed and in this text also let's use a padding modifier now let's run our app again and see how it works so here let's try to check again these box so now we can see this whole row is toggleable so now we can see this is looking more good and if i try to check these items by clicking on the text then it will also work so let's minimize this and on this check box let's click control b so here we can see this is the documentation of this check box so these two parameters we have used and another one is this modifier we can use to modify this check box and this color so we can also use this parameter to change the colors of this check box and from here you can read the documentation of this check box so let's close this and that's it for today's video we have learned how to create and customize check box with material design 3 and jetpack compose if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification thanks for tuning in and keep on coding